I've learned a lot. I've learned, I've a lot learned huge amounts. Thank you. Loads tonight. I, could, could you learn any more, do you think, Mike? Maybe if we've got a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're talking about, don't you, Anita? We're talking yeah, about... Yeah, your segue is not subtle enough. <laughs> <laughs> 60-second CPD. So I, I take it you've heard of 60-second CPD. Yes, yes. I, I, I wrote my notes CPD? down. I'm prepared. That's, I'm that's, loving this. That's brilliant. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so, so Anita Dow... 60 second CPD, what subject do you want to cover? Um, turning puppy socialization on its head. Okay, all right. So, let's so see. turning puppy socialization on its head. Mm -hmm. right. So, let's get the clock up. So, Anita Dow, the mindful pet owner. Oh, the turning Puppy socialization on its head, one minute starting from now. Okay, so socialization in the traditional sense is getting your puppy out and about so they're exposed to lots of different people, dogs, and environments. But what are we actually doing? We're exposing them to the novelty. The concern with this traditional method is that so much of this is out of your control and it can very quickly become a negative experience. And it only takes one negative experience to undo a hundred positive ones. Get yourself a big cardboard box, a washing basket or a paddling pool and start collecting your clean recycling. Your puppy can search through these looking for treats or kibble and this has the exact same effect. They are being presented with novelty but in a controlled environment, paired with food making every experience a positive one, resulting in a dog that is optimistic and confident with novelty. A skill that will be generalised to other novel situations, objects, people or dogs. Do the groundwork at home and don't rush into taking them everywhere and meeting everyone. Three seconds left. Come on, fellas. Come on. No, that that was it. fantastic. Wow. That was amazing. That was wow. I'm absolutely blown away by that. So socialisation isn't necessarily meeting new people, going to new streets. It's actually uh, it's seeing novel about things. novelty. Yeah. About novelty. And it's, as opposed to... so. All puppies are born optimists. They're, they're glass half full. But as life goes on, experiences happen and they become more pessimistic, um, just like humans. And just like as older dogs get on, oh, yeah, they, they bark at the postman or they bark at this noise or they don't like this dog. Um, but as puppies, we have, we're starting with this clean, fresh canvas of spaghetti brain and by controlling their um, experiences with novelty, we're just promoting optimism and confidence in the face of novelty. And what you, what we would call generalisation, we call like brain flexibility, is that they can transfer a positive experience with novel things to other novel experiences because novelty in general is good. It's not scary. Um, and whereas this. it's, it's yeah. really common that dogs – puppies they've been out and about and they've been you know taken on walks for a month or so and they suddenly get a sudden aversion to their lead and harness mum or dad picks up the leader harness and they run and it's not because anything bad happened with the leader harness it's because those walks have been too stimulating too arousing and something that they didn't feel positive about happened but they associate it with that lead and harness and it's because they're going too hard too fast 